a lot of people ahead of us. So it's something to walk through. Okay, so a bit of an update. We're probably about 10 and a half K in. It has been raining non-stop but it's quite nice because it's quite warm so I'm trying to be sensible and pace myself. I've walked a few of the climbs just have to be smart just I know I'm going to get carried away so I'm trying to slow myself down. of dreams but it's 11k in if it was uh, 11 to go it might be feeling nightmares but stunning lovely countryside <laughs> So, quick update. When came through the third checkpoint, or yeah, third checkpoint, and they said I was third person on the road. Great. Just after going through a section of a about a 10k climb, the guy said I was about five minutes behind the leader. So if I started at the very start, I started about. Eight minutes after the first person, so I'd be there or thereabouts time wise. Keep relaxed, Pally. Don't get carried away. 50k halfway. I think I'm actually the first person through. Uh, bang on pace. Check my time through this one. Get a bit of salt and vinegar crisps, some salt. That was tough, really tough. Lots of learnings, which was why I've done it. Not just for future 100Ks, whatever, but also for MDS coming up, um, especially the, the long stage during that race, so delighted. So, that was basically it, 100k done, happy with how it went, I don't think, uh, looking back on it you always think you can do a little bit better but I can't complain, but, so we're now two weeks since the race, I took uh, one week off and then this week it's just been a few easy runs uh, and 90, 90 minutes easy today it has been an absolute scorcher this week with temperatures over 30 and I'm absolutely delighted that we that we didn't have that during the race because that would have made it so much harder the weather was pretty good it was very kind for the middle of July in the south of England it was overcast all day with a bit of rain in the early morning and afternoon but it, uh, it was perfect really so I'll try that again probably better to wait till I get to the top of the hill before I start talking but glorious day today but so we'll talk about the race itself so it started at 6.30 early start the plan was to let a dozen people go in front of me. It was a staggered start due to COVID, but 
whenever they announced the race would start in five minutes, a couple of hundred people just rushed to the start line. So by the time I got through the start, I was probably about 10 minutes uh, behind the first person, which was fine. It didn't bother me. I sort of planned just to take my time, work through people, and use it to slow me down essentially, just so that it didn't go off too fast. And it was, it was grand. So the first half of the race was as planned. Took my time, pace was good. Pulled myself back a couple of times. Uh, the course was quite free flowing. I worked through most people till about 20k. Well, probably before that actually. And then I was on my own. Uh, at about 30k, the, the guy said I had two people in front of me, which probably was the worst thing because I probably had them in my sights then, like to chase them, which I didn't really need to. Anyway, I kind of did catch them literally at the halfway point. Uh, and then it turns out they were doing the two day event. So uh, from there on in, I was on my own. So I got halfway in the pace I wanted, so I was pretty pleased. But I could tell I could tell I was getting tired. By 60k, my pace was still good. Um, but I then started to have to walk a few hills that I wasn't walking before, and it was just starting to get really tough then. Yeah, so. Got on this checkpoint about 73k, came out of that, and I just could not get going at all. Just every incline or climb, I was just walking up, but I was moving, and that was the key thing. By the time I got about 82, 83k, had a good, uh, maybe a bit of a second wind coming around, so by from there to 90k. I ran and felt good, run a good pace. 90k to 100k was just getting it done and and then that was it. So that was that, but I don't have much time to to dwell on it. It's two months now for the MDS, so I just have to get back into the training and uh, focus on that, get a few things prepared, and that's it. There's one thing that I didn't talk about and that's probably the most important thing and that's the the fundraising that we're doing for the Northern Ireland Hospice and the Irish Hospice and these two charities provide end of life care for patients and provide support for for their family and loved ones. So we are looking to raise a hefty hundred thousand it's a big ask, but we really just need your help to raise those vital funds. Uh, particularly at a time when fundraising activities is, are not permitted. I'll put the link below for the iDonate page. And if you want to donate, we'd be very much appreciative. So what we'd also like you to do is below like share subscribe whatever it is you do on these things uh, the more people we reach the better chance we have of hitting our our target hopefully over the next few weeks i'll bring some more uh training in the lead up to the mds but that's it for now